Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, y'all tap in. Y'all tap in, man. I got a story. I got a story for y'all. Y'all tap in. I got a story. I'm going to tell y'all about a time where somebody beat me to the punch. My homeboy, he beat me to the punch. He beat me to it. It's crazy. I'm going to tell the story about when my homeboy beat me to the punch. He beat me to the punch. Double tap the screen if you're watching. Double tap the screen. I got a story for y'all. Y'all know when y'all trying to be slick and you're trying to get at somebody and you get beat to it. I'm going to get I'm going to get y'all the story. All right. So this this chick I pull up to the gas station. At the time, you know what I'm saying? I had just got through breaking up with my ex. So at the time I'm dealing with this chick. So I bust up at the gas station. I walk in, she walk out. I see her. We looking out of eye. I'm like, dang, girl, pretty tough. So as I as I rap with her, get her name. For the sake of real names, we'll just call her Jay. So I holler at Jay. Jay, we exchange information. Next thing I know, we talking on the phone. We shooting a bobo with each other. Then all I know, I'm like, so I'm feeling her. She thick, super thick, gumbo thick. So we talking, we talking. I get to know her, see what she about and all this. And as we, I'm getting to know her, I hear kids in the background. Now, normally, I don't discriminate against nobody with children, but you got to watch them. When a woman got multiple children, they normally asking you for them pay, that paper. If I'm lying, prove me wrong. So, we, we conversed. Then she hit me with the expected thing that they always hit you with. Uh, I need help with. Now, mind you, <laughs> at this time, I'm in a situation where I'm living with my homeboy. I just broke up with my old lady and I'm in between places to live. But she hit me with, I need money for some diapers. So I'm like, I ain't no heartless dude. So I'm like, I don't want to see nobody do without no diapers. And this might make me look bad, but to some people, but I was like, well, I break down and buy the diapers. So we meet up, never go on a date. At this point, we just start talking, mind you. So that made me leery. You asking me for something and I never, we never even went on a date or nothing like that. So I'm like, man, what are we doing? So she was like, oh, just give me time. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with my Dealing with some stuff. I'm going through it. So I'm like, all right, I ain't tripping. You you want me to pay for you some diapers? So I said, cool. I shoot her the money. Might have been about $40 for some diapers. Y'all know diapers high. So I'm like, man, maybe that'll get me in the dope. So we, we just keep wrapping it up. She chopping it up with me. I'm chopping it up with her. And she's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been going here and going places there. I'm trying to get some things off the ground, man. So, my homeboy looking at me like, because mind you, I'm living with my homeboy while we rapping. So, I'm trying to get my back on my feet. So, she say, he say, my homeboy say, man, who is that you talking to? I said, man, man, I'm talking to this guy, man. I'm, we talking, we conversing. So, I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you gonna let me come see you? Blah, blah, blah. He said, what? He said, you just told me the other day that you spent money on these diapers. <laughs> I said, man, I was just doing a lot to count in my heart. He said, hey, bro. He said, he said, bro, you tripping. I said, man, how I'm tripping, man? You don't want nobody to be without. He said, bro, you tripping. So me and her, I'm getting to know the, all the basics, the favorite colors, da 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 da. So about a couple days later, 
we still talk. We conversing every day. So my homeboy said, hey, hey, bro, you still talking to Jay? I said, yeah. He said, bro, I'm going to keep it real with you like this. He said, bro, you taking too long, girl, man. I could have been here. I said, word. Now, mind you, I, I like her. She thick, gumbo thick. But at the time, I'm like, man, he tripping, man. He see I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do, with old girl. Now, I ain't on no player jump or nothing like that. I'm just hollering at her just to be hollering at her. So he tell me, he say, man, I'm telling you, bro, you taking too long. You could have been bust her. I said, what? He said, man, I'm telling you. So I said, you feel like you can get her? He said, matter of fact, I'm telling you I can get her. So I say, hey, man. All right. I'm going to say, I tell him, go on and get her then, bro. If you feel like you can get her, go on and get her. Man, you, I'm like, because he say, man, yeah, she cool with my sister. And you know what I'm saying? She been wanting me. I said, oh, word? He said, yeah, she been wanting me. He said, man, I could have been here, huh? Man, a long time ago. I said, bro, if you could hear her, had you been chatting with her? How long had you been chatting with her? I had been chatting with her maybe a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? But uh, mind you, if I'm chatting with you a couple of days, the thing about it, I'm a free-hearted person. That's why I don't. Let me put this out there. Pause, pause the story. Let me put this out there. I'm a free hearted person. So if I see somebody who in need the way I am, if I got it and I don't feel like you trying to use me. Hey, man, my eyebrows, my eyebrows. Read it and weep. That's a trademark. I say, uh, man, I got you. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like you ain't trying to use me, I got you. So that's why I don't like users. So go back into the story. He said, bro, I could have been had her, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, if you could get her, get her. So he said, all right, so no lie, no lie. He hit, he hit the phone. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Man, I'm ready. Nope, in two days. Uh, it was a few days, a few I say we were talking maybe a week and he told me he could get her. He said I was taking too long. So he tell me, he tell me, he said, watch this. He hit up. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's happening with you? Uh, she she say whatever she say. He was like, yeah, you know what you talking about? You been talking about? I'm ready. I guess she say, he was like, all right, tonight then. I right, hung up just like that. So I'm like, now I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna cap y'all down. I felt this little. Because I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to know her. I'm trying to do all this. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a gentleman about the situation. He hit the phone. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, what's happening? Basically. So he tell her tonight. Now, mind you, this is a very important piece of the story. I'm living with him. <laughs> I am living with him at the time. So she know I'm living with him. Because over the course of our conversation, that came up. I don't believe in lying. If I'm in transition, I was in transition. So with that being said, <laughs> man, Hey, man, I ain't studying them, man. How long your boy, how long your boy known him? Man, that's that my partner. That's that my homie to this day. He like a brother, man. So I wasn't even really tripping. I guess he been knowing him because obviously he had, the, he had the number. So with that being said, I go into it. I'm like, all right. I chop it up with it. I mean, he chop it up with us. He say tonight. He say, bro. Oh, keeping it real, bro. I got to keep it real. So he say, shouldn't have doubted, bro, had the juice on her. Hey, <laughs> bro, definitely had that. 
he had that juice. He a cold dude, too. Salute to him. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he said, hey, bro, she coming over here tonight. I said, tonight? He said, bro, I told you you would take it too long. She'll be over here tonight. He told me what time she would come. He said, bro, when she get over here, when she hit the door, I need you to just act like you sleep. Now, ain't my old lady. We just talking. I Even with the money I spent, I looked at it as I'm just helping out somebody. That's just me. I'm a free hearted person. So I'm like, cool, bro. I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't tripping. I act like I'm asleep. Now, mind you, in this situation, this is where I'm living at. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ain't, he, she willingly giving it to him. This is where I'm living at. So, what, what can I do? Put the cover over my head. She hit the steps. She hit the steps. They go in the room. Now, <laughs> this is the kick. She can't say he never, he didn't hit her. Cause I hear the action. I'm downstairs. I couldn't even sleep. I'm like this, trying to go to sleep. All I hear is she calling his name. He he putting his work in. I ain't tripping. Again, I ain't had no feelings for her. So he, I'm talking about he, he dogging on. Pop, 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 pop. So, next morning, early morning, she hit the step, open the door, go on out the door. So, he get up, he said, hey, bro, he shake me. I said, man, what's happening? He said, boy, I told you, I told you I can get up. I told her, I told you, boy, you taking too long. I said, what? He said, boy, you heard me up there. You, I know you heard that. Uh, we was up there getting to I said, man, I ain't, I ain't studying that jump, man. You did your thing. I heard you. You did your thing. You proved your point. And I get what I told him. I said, bro, thank you. He said, huh? I said, thank you. Because yeah, at this point, if you could get her that easy, I don't need to be dealing with her no way. I don't need to be dealing with her no way. So, as... As me and him chopping it up, the very next day, I'd he done smashed her. I'd he done smashed her. We sitting, I'm sitting on the couch. He's sitting in, in his chair. We chopping it up. My phone ring. Not his phone. My phone ring. He smashed her. He smashed her. Not me. I ain't smashed her. The real brothers will let you know, hey, they support. Listen. Pause the story. If you got a chick, if your homeboy dealing with a chick and you know you can hit her, pull his coattail before he get too far involved. Pull your homeboy's coattail before you before he get too far involved. Because just think, this is what I think about. Say if I would have smashed this chick and end up Getting in, being with the chick and falling for her. And he know in the back, man, I could have been busted abroad, man. He know what she on. Me, I just met her by the week's time. I didn't know what she on. So I'm what they would call green to the situation. I'm naive. He, he being my real homie, my brother, he said, hey, you taking too long. Now, I could have had a lollipop tendency or a sucker moment and been hating on him and be like, no, nah, bro, what you mean? I'm taking too long. I accepted he knew something that I didn't. So with that being said, mind y'all, back to the story, my phone ring. It's her. <laughs> Out of all people, it's her. So I'm like, what's happening? She's like, what you doing? I'm looking at the phone. I'm looking at him because he in the room. He, he is ecstatic. He is dying laughing. He is laughing so hard. He is in tears. <laughs> he bawling. He on the floor and everything. <laughs> so 
I just hit the phone, put it on speaker. I put it on speaker. I put it on speaker. I said, what's happening? She told me, what you doing later on? Nah, 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 nah. Now, this is where it got interesting. Now, mind you, now, now you trying to play me now. Her, she trying to play me. Because, again, rewind. She knew where I lived at. She knew that I lived with him. She already knew. So that let me know she ain't, she ain't owe me nothing, but she didn't give a D.I.M. about me being on this man couch, knowing that she talked to me. At this point, we was talking. We started talking day like I know it was just a week, but we were talking every day. So I'm like, dang. And then you you give him that thing that ow. Oh, you give him that, and you you ain't call his phone. <laughs> you ain't call his phone. You call me. So I put it on speaker he, again. He cry. He crying. <laughs> he is crying, laughing. So she was like, "What you doing?" I was man. I'm just chilling, man, over here with my homie. <laughs> he, uh, he is laughing. He is crying, laughing. So I said, "What you doing?" She said, "Nothing." Blah blah blah. I said, uh, word. So I ain't gonna lie. So did did you get it? No, I didn't want. Hold on. I listen. This is my rule. I live on morals and principles. After he busted down, I didn't even want it. I'm gonna get to it in the story, but since you asked, I didn't even want it because this is how I live. If a, if a homeboy man or a brother man, if he smashed, or if he get it, and I know he got it, boop, you off limits. Boop, straight up off limits. So she called me to, trying to make small talk. As she making small talk, I'm really getting offended because, again, mind you, she knows where I live. I didn't hide nothing. I didn't hide that that was my homeboy. I never had that we, we lived there. And she obviously was about that action because she hit them steps and gave him that. Ah, she gave it to him. She gave him that thing. So and <laughs> she called, she said, what you doing there? I said, nothing. She said, what you mean, nothing? I said, nothing. So you don't want to kick it with me, blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's go do something. Now, the whole week before, you didn't want to do nothing. You had, you were tired. You had everything going on. You had all this. Now, after you hit those steps and gave my homeboy that thing, now, you want to do something? Yeah, son. Hey. So, because I was the nice guy, pause the story, pause the story. I want to ask this question. Is it wrong? Now, I'm just being nice. Now, this part of the reasons why I hate users. I'm being nice. So, your child was in need. I didn't know your child. A child is a child. I don't, I don't, Give gifts to get stuff in return. That's a trick. If I give you money direct for sex, that's a trick. Or for that, that's a trick. I don't do that. So now, so I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't even tripping about doing what I did for a child because that's a child. The child don't know me. I don't know the child. So with that being said, now after you done gave my homeboy that. Now, now you want to go do something. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. Because now, I don't even want to hit you. I don't even want to hit you at this point. So I say, I say, man, check this out, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to go on and keep it all the way up with you. Get up off my phone. She said, what? I heard. I said, you heard me. Get up off my phone. 
You know where I live. You know what went down. And you know at this point, between me and you, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. So I hang up. Boom! <laughs> he over there. He said, see, I told you. I told you I could kill her. I told you. I said, bro, salute to you. Now, mind you, my homeboy is a player. Player is his player realism is on nine or ten at all times at this point. At all times. So I'm a homebody. So he he going out, he doing this thing, he moving and grooving. Me, I'm at the crib, I'm chitting. So he goes out. Later on, that day, can't make this up. That day he goes out. Guess who he runs into? First, he runs into my cousin. At the time, I didn't know it was my cousin. Found this out later. He runs into my cousin, who he, who I met through him, because he was, he was hitting my cousin. So, they go to a club. So, mind you, they, I knew her, but they go to a club. My cousin and him in there, they ain't together, but he goes to the club and he sees my cousin. Guess who else is in there? Jay is in there. So Jay, who my homeboy just smashed, and just called my phone that morning, huh, my cousin get into it. They going back and forth. They going back and forth. Obviously, they got the jacket. They throwing stuff up. So he said he had to break them up. Ah, remind you, I'm at the career of sleep when all this is going on. So, next thing I know, I hear. So I wake up. I open the door. I said, What's going on? You know him and that bro game. I said, "What? Who gained you? Your boy MJ? They gained me." Now that ain't my homeboy Mo. I've been knowing him for a long time. No, he ain't gang and no female. That ain't how he get. That ain't how he get out. So my home. I say, hey, I don't know what happened. I wonder. This is my place of residence at the moment. So, what you want me to do? You dealt with him. I don't know. I ain't finna. And and then I kept it a whole. I kept it a whole book. I ain't even tell her that they had something going on. And I was there when they had something going on because it wasn't my business. Actually, he did me a favor when he busted because. I'm free hearted and I could end up spending way more than I spent because I'm free hearted. So I took that as a lesson learned. So I tell her, look, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know what's going on. That's y'all business. That on that. She said, well, you tell him, don't be. I said, man, again, that's y'all business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So she leave, boom, skirt, skirt off. He come back, man, boy, you ain't gonna believe what happened tonight. I said, yeah, I am. I said, you know, old girl, because man, at the time, I didn't know that was my cousin. I said, old girl came over here, said, hon, girl, who? I said, hon, Jay got into it in the club, and y'all ganged her. He said, man, what? He said, man, you know I ain't on. I said, bro. I said, no, nah, I know you ain't on that. He was like, bro. He said, bro, this bro was tripping. I said, who? He said, Jay. Huh? And Jay was in that tripping. They, they all and they going back and forth. I say, man, <laughs> that's wild. I said, bro, what? What she called me for? He said, man, we ain't. I, I, he said, I was going after. He said, man. 
And I ain't really want to deal with it. I just want, I only reason I held her, I just want to show you that I can heal her. He said, that's the only reason I held her. I said, man, that's what's happening. So he said, man, they was in there getting it, boy. He said, they were getting at it. So he tell me, he said, man, you ain't going to believe that. He said, man, JJ popped up out of nowhere like she go with me. I said, huh? He said, yeah, she she stayed in claims, talking about this, talking about that. I said, so she put your business in the street, bro? He said, yeah. I said, man, that's sad, man. That is sad. So with that being said, I see Jay down, down, down the line, down the line. Now, mind you, I ain't did nothing to this woman. Nothing. This years later, nothing. I ain't did nothing to this woman. So I pull up. I had a white Impala. Jay had a white Impala. I pull up to walk into a recreation center. She pull up, I guess, to get her cheers. Now, she know who I am. I know who she is. I get out, walk in. She walking out. Now, mind you, if I see somebody who I know, they speak, I'm going to speak. She looked at me, walked on by. So I'm like, all right. My thing is, what you got out to with me for? This years later. I don't I don't deal with you. But guess what the guess what the key ingredient of the whole one of the key ingredients of the whole story is? One of them is don't put all your stock in somebody you don't know. Let them prove you right or wrong. That's number one. Number two. My cousin, who I found out years later, her and Jay are now like this. I'm like, I'm like, what? Yeah, my homeboy said, man, they kicking it. I said, what? So y'all know we in the social media age. I'm friends with my cousin. I go pull up Jay name. I said, boy, this is crazy. Now, my homeboy don't deal with neither one of them anymore. But to this day, my cousin still trying to shoot a shot with him. To this very day. And Jay, she was with a dude. And I guess she's up to her old tricks. So, this is the time. When my homeboy <laughs> beat me to it. And I got to just keep it real with you. You take your wins with your wins and your losses with your losses. But actually, this was a win-win. Again, I didn't get emotionally invested into a garden tool. So I was cool. Then my homeboy, by putting me up on game, showed me who she was. Then... With her and my cousin back in each other, double backing, when he get through with both of them and becoming cool, I found out it was mighty crazy. So, women, don't be arguing over no man. That's one. Men, control your emotions. If you're dealing with a woman in any capacity, let them know that they can't control you by their actions. Don't get in your feelings. Accept the truth for what it is. And while I got you out here, go to the D program show on YouTube and subscribe. This is when I got beat to the punch or he beat me to it. So, man, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I got more stories to come. Just practicing my little storytelling on here. But y'all hit them comments and tell me what y'all think. All right, I got a question for the people on here. And the people, well, I'm going to post this on the YouTube too. Did I go out, and I want y'all to keep it all the way up. Did I go out like a trick for, uh, for paying for a child's diapers and not getting none? Did I go out all the way bad? Or can y'all agree with me that, hey, I was just doing a good deed? What y'all think? 
I really want to know. I really want to know. I really want to know what y'all think. Did I go out like a trick or worse than a trick? Or my homeboy said, he would say, well, you buddies. He said, you went out like a buddy. I said, man, you was being a kind guy. That's what I thought. But obviously, hell no, nah, you keep it, you keep it, keep it real, bro. I gotta keep it real. So I wanna know, was I going out like a trick? Cause hey, I did. That's what happened. I didn't leave nothing out. That's what happened. But the crazy part is. It was a lesson in it. I appreciated him for showing me because he could have let me be with her and been back back going and bust around and got it while we was together and I would have been unaware. He did the most solid thing he could have did because this is my thing. If you got somebody and they supposed to belong to you, if anybody else can get them, how much of yours are they? How much of yours are they? Man, again, go to the D program show on YouTube. Subscribe. Thank y'all for hitting them comments. And I just wanted to know the time that my homeboy beat me to it. Did I go out like a trick? The two comments I seen said, man, you was being a nice guy and you kept it real. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. And let me see. Straight up, she asked, straight up, she asked like she wanted y'all to jump her too. <laughs> y'all too to jump her. Man, nah. Man, this is my thing. I don't believe in jumping on women no kind of way. But my thing is, my boy Buster down, got that <laughs> up out of, and uh, to this very day, when I see him, and when he see this, he going to know what I'm talking about. We laugh about that to this very day. I just be like, boy, you remember that? Just be yourself. You will find the right one. Oh, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm just telling y'all a story. I'm married. I I've been. I'm just telling y'all the story. Uh, I'm just telling y'all a story from back in the day. I'm married. I've been married for. Ooh, let me not lie. Cause my wife, she watched this year. Get on. Yeah, I'm married. Uh, been married since 2013. December will make nine years. Shelly. See, man, like this is the thing. So that right there taught me to sometimes you got to put stuff on the table just to see if somebody down for you. I ain't like if I can put some money out and I'm, I'm going to tell you all another story. But this is another time about when I baited somebody in who I who I knew they was a snake. But I had to lay the bait. And it cost me a little piece of change, but it was worth it in the long run. And I was like, well, okay. Because you got you to gotta just let people show you who they are. And I'd rather you show me now than show me on the back end when we done got a, a fake relationship. Because if you're trying to use me, the relationship ain't nothing but fake. So I ain't even going to cap y'all down and tell y'all. That hey, some people gonna look at it like, man, you went out bad, but it was a lesson learned. He beat me to it. And I'm in this case, I'm glad he did. I'm glad he beat me to it. Cause man, if she'll give it up that easy to him. He a, he a hell of a guy. Salute to him. That's my guy. But y'all see what it is. Again, 
I ain't tripping. I'm gonna tell y'all more stories. This is just the first story that I had to tell. Just wanted to see could I do it, and more more is to come. So y'all tap. Thank y'all for tapping in. This was the story of he beat me to it. Go subscribe to me on YouTube, and I will follow y'all back. The people who uh, gave some good feedback. I'm going to follow y'all back on here. Let me see. I'm going to follow y'all back. Yeah, I'm going to follow y'all back. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This has been the first story that I ever told on here, and we'll do more. But the time he beat me to it, go subscribe to me on YouTube, double tap that screen, and we gone. Peace.